Hey everyone, um, my name is Maggie. I'm the coordinator for Community Connections here at the University of Arkansas. So I oversee our off-campus departments and I supervise our community connectors. Awesome. And I'm Mark Wilson. I'm a uh, community connector as well. Um, I'm my, I'll be a senior this year, management student in business. And uh, this is my second year as a community connector, so um, it's been an interesting journey and I'm looking forward to the upcoming year. Awesome. So tell us a little bit about living off campus and anybody joining, if you have any questions, send them in the chat and I will send them their way. All right. So yeah, we partner with four different complexes that you can live at under a university housing contract. So we are here at the Marshall currently um, and we partner with the Marshall, Ozark Villas, the Locale and the Cardinal. So when you live here under a housing contract, you get to be along with our student staff, um, community connectors, and you really just live in the apartments, um, go to events on campus. We plan our own events here for you guys, but you also get to utilize the amenities that your specific complex has. Um, so you kind of get the best of both worlds in a way. Awesome. So yeah, it's really cool. We do one to two events um, at each complex. Um, every community connector is at their, at their building assigned to them. And so they put on like personal events for everybody, the residents that live there. And then we partner um, a couple times a semester um, or more and um, work with groups on campus as well. So um, we do, uh, we get a good mix of both. Yeah, really our main goal is to get you guys connected to campus, even though you live off campus. So like Mark said, that's usually partnering with different campus partners. So um, last year we partnered with UREC for like a tennis and tenders event, uh, but we also partner with CAPS. And we really just want you guys to know that even though you live off campus under a housing contract, you still get to utilize everything that the on-campus student has to offer. We do have a quick question. Someone asked on move-in day, do students go to housing to pick up move-in materials or to the apartment? So you will arrive at your assigned complex. Um, when you come in, you'll be greeted by the housing staff. So you'll have your community connector there. And then I will also kind of be floating around. Um, but you'll come, say hi to everybody, go up to the front desk, meet the complex managers and staff, and they will hand you your keys. So there's no need to go to the housing office. Awesome. All right, um, well, we do have some questions that you guys sent in ahead of time, so we're going to kind of jump to those. Um, so the first question has to do with the Marshall and where you can get reserved parking. Um, so at the Marshall, we do have spots here for students. Um, if you have not been assigned parking yet, go ahead to your housing portal, sign up for an arrival time, Go all the way through that, even if you currently are placed and live here right now, um, because then you will be taken to a page that says, would you like to opt in for parking? At that point, you would select yes, then you get entered onto a list and you'll be notified next week whether or not you get parking at the Marshall. Um, another question we have is how do you purchase a meal plan and when does it reflect on your account? So you can purchase a meal plan anytime throughout the housing portal, and that is reflected as soon as you purchase it, um, but it does not get activated until the first day of classes. Um, but again, you can purchase it the first day of class and be able to utilize it that day. Um, so yeah, that is all done through the housing portal. Yeah, and the great thing about the meal plans is you can buy uh, like the lowest tier off-campus one, and if that isn't like enough for you, um, like if you're exceeding the amount of the, like allotted block meals or you spend all your dining dollars, you can always upgrade them um, to more meals per week. Um, I don't think you can go down, but you can always go up. So um, it helps out too, I mean, especially if you thought you'd like cooking dinner every night like I would. And <laughs> it just didn't happen. You got homework and um, all sorts of other things that get in the way. And so it's much easier just to go on campus and pick up a quick meal like Chick-fil-A or something. That's very true. Someone asked, will parking for the locale be told to them beforehand or is that a move-in day ordeal as well? So you should have been notified if you live at the locale whether or not you received parking there. 
Um, if you have not been notified, I would call the housing office because they do have a list and they should be able to tell you. Um, but if you don't receive parking at the locale, we do offer resident reserve and garden garage for the locale students specifically. Um, but yeah, that is a housing um, office question and just call and we'll be able to tell you. Um, another question we have is how do I get a block meal plan if I live at Duncan? So the Duncan apartments aren't part of off-campus apartments, so you are still under um, university on-campus housing, but it is the same process. You go in through the housing portal. If you are not um, offered a block meal plan, call the housing office and they can update that for you. Um, but because you are on-campus, it is an on-campus meal plan unless it's overridden by housing. So just go through them and they can help you out. Um, someone asked for early move-in tomorrow. Will there be people um, by the dorms directing them? Should I turn to you for that? Uh, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Um, uh, I'm not really dressed for that. That's okay. Hey, You're fine. We're live. Um, yeah, Christopher Spencer with uh, housing. Um, we are prepared for early arrivals, and early arrivals go directly to the, I believe, the housing office. Yes. All early arrivals go to the housing office, and there will be there people to meet you. If hopefully. you live on campus. If you live on <laughs> campus. Off campus, do we have any early arrivals for off campus? I don't think we do. There are some if you have signed up and been given approval in the OK, um, but that is a very limited number of you right. guys. Um, but if that's the case, you would still show up to your complex. They know you're coming. Um, so that would just be show up at the complex and they'll give you your keys. Perfect. Okay, I got a question. Um, is the village, I guess, or I don't know where we're living in villages, but is the room furnished or unfurnished? <laughs> the villa. Uh, yes. That was our villa. Oh, okay, no, well, it doesn't say that. <laughs> anyway, specifically regarding a bed, um, and so all the apartments uh, off campus and on campus for that matter come with beds. Um, off campus have their own um, kitchens, and uh, I think every most people have their own bathrooms where they're shared. Um, and showers. Um, so you would have to bring things like pots and pans, and um, you have to provide your own toilet paper um, and cleaning supplies. But uh, all the essential items like the oven and the stove and the microwave are all provided. I do also want to jump in there because we do get this question a lot. The shower rods are provided, but you do have to bring a shower curtain and shower liner with you when you come. That's a good specification. Yeah. <laughs> Someone asked, do you have to have a meal plan to have dining dollars? I don't believe so. I believe you can add dining dollars. Um, you can get them by them I'm not sure. Yeah, that's a, another housing office sure. question, um, just because I don't really deal with dining. Um, but our people in housing, they do, and they are more than welcome to answer any of your dining questions. As um, far as I know, dining dollars, um, you can upload as many as you want, and then you can um, you have to spend all of them by the semester, and they, so they don't transfer over the next semester. But um, I think you can upload as many as you want. You can do hundreds of dollars at a time if you wanted, but uh, you just gotta spend it by the end of the semester. Perfect. Someone asked, do off-campus apartments qualify for on-campus or off-campus meal plans, and is there a difference? So I just checked today, um, so they are off-campus meal plans, but I think what's new this year that they didn't have last year is you can get your 15 meals a week, um, 10 meals a week, 5 meals a week, which I don't think was an option last year, um, but as of this morning, that is a thing. It is, again, purchased by semester and they don't roll over, um, but mainly our off-campus students just purchase a block meal plan just because you get a set amount for the whole semester and a set amount of dining dollars and you can use them whenever and wherever on campus you would prefer. Perfect. Um, so another question is where can I park? Um, so most of our apartment complexes do come with parking that is separate so you do have to pay for that but we do have a number of spots there for our students. Um, so like I mentioned at the locale if you were selected you can park there. If you don't get parking at your specific complex, you can purchase a Greenlot Pass, which um, 
our lots located by like the football stadium and kind of down Razorback Road, um, along with lot 99, which is an orange lot. Um, so there are a variety of places you can park, but only green and orange lot passes can be purchased. But all of those are right by a Razorback bus stop um, transit. So um, definitely can utilize that if you would like. Yeah, that's a great thing too. All Every apartment um, is close to the bus stop. So if you don't want to purchase a um, parking pass, like a green lot pass or a park in like another a parking garage, um, you can save some money and ride the bus to and from class every day. And, and they actually come pretty often, so it's not the most stylish way to get to class, but it is, um, I mean, it's, it's a really good way to get to class, and it's, it beats walking for sure, so, especially on a rainy day or snowy day for that matter. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, and if we have already answered questions you're sending in the chat and you did not hear that, this will be uploaded under our Instagram page, You Are Housing, under Reels, and it will be on YouTube later this month. All right, um, so what are the off-campus students' on-campus parking options? We kind of went over that. Um, green lot passes or green lot lots and orange lots um, are available. Just a reminder there is you do have to move your cars for base basketball and football games, um, which they do get directed to lot 99. Um, which is right in front of Aspen Heights and across the street from Ozark Villas. Mm -hmm. um, I've got a question for you. What do you think is the walking time from here to the Union? I'd say 10, 15? What do you think? From, I would say 20. Um, from the lookout, uh, it's, it's a good hike up a hill. It's probably like 15, 20 minutes. Um, I don't know about here. Or a Marshall. What do you from think? the Marshall, it's a 20 minute walk, 15, 20 minutes from the Marshall to the Hyper. Um, and I would tack on probably another 10 minutes to the Union. Um, yeah. So you're looking at a 25 to 30 minute walk. Um, good, to, good to be aware of that. Yeah, yeah. Buses, bikes. Yes. Transportation's good. Oh, what is it? <laughs> the scooters. Scooters, yep. Yeah. We have yeah. Lyft and VO, I believe. I think so. So we do have Instagrams, that's another question, is mm -hmm. do the apartments have an Instagram like the halls do? We do, it's called New York Off. Um, we will be highlighting our staff at each complex so you guys get to know them and know their faces. Um, we also will be sharing event reminders um, along with just general information that we need to get out to you guys. Could be regarding move out um, or anything fun like that. <laughs> um, so yeah, follow us if you guys have Instagram. Somebody asked, is there a need for renter's insurance for uh, off-campus housing? And the answer is no. Um, I don't believe the university um, requires it. I think you could add, can you add it? Yeah. We do recommend it. Okay, yes. because, okay I'm really, anytime you're a renter, yeah. to make sure your property is protected, it's okay. good to have It's insurance. not required, but, but no, that's required. a lesson for me. Yeah, it's not required. <laughs> recommend it. Um, I know I was talking to someone in housing today, you know, we have freshman students who may not have cooked by themselves before. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> so fire alarms go off quite a bit um, because people leave who knows what in the oven, um, you know, where they could be playing soccer in the hallway, hit a sprinkler head, um, and set the sprinklers off. So renter's insurance is really cheap. It's like three or four dollars a month. I mean, I think I pay like three dollars. <laughs> um, so for me, the peace of mind of if <laughs> the Marshall does burn down, my stuff's okay. <laughs> Maybe you're cooking a pizza and you're playing a video game at the same time. Exactly. You can't leave that fight. You gotta exactly. <laughs> yeah, you're, it's a, it's yeah. a little crunchy. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, we do recommend it, but um, it is not required and nobody's going to check. So. Someone asked, is Atmosphere and Cardinal the closest off-campus apartments to campus? I would say yes. Um, so we don't partner with Atmosphere, but we do partner with the Cardinal. Um, I believe it is right off Harmon. Yeah, well, I believe. yeah, it's right there with Duncan Avenue Apartments. Yeah, so. On the uh, right south by, side of campus. Yeah, right by the business school, mm -hmm. I believe. Yep. yep. Um, so those are probably the closest. Um, 
But it's my understanding they don't have a Razorback Transit bus stop right outside, like mm. the Marshall um, and the locale do. Um, so that is the closest walking distance, but each place, I mean, it's a 10 minute bus ride if that. Um, so they're all really close. That's why we chose to partner with those guys is because they're closest for you guys. Perfect. We don't have any other questions in the chat right now. So do you guys have any other ones? I don't think I have anything. Um, I just want to let you guys know that we do have Mark, the community connector, as he said. Um, we have about three or four community connectors in each of our partner apartment complexes. Um, so when you guys first move in, we're going to come around with welcome baskets um, with items from our campus partners. Um, just to welcome you all to campus um, and kind of see what's on campus, what you guys have access to. Um, but also, we will have QR codes for you guys to join your groupies um, and just a way to connect with the other students living at your complex um, under a housing contract. Again, a way to send reminders. Um, but really, I want you guys to know that the CCs are out there. Um, go to them if you guys have questions. Feel free to message me, reach out to me if you guys need anything. Um, but our CCs are very knowledgeable and they know the complexes. Um, just as well, if not better than me. So um, don't be afraid to reach out to them. Yeah. And our, our whole job is to make um, these students, I don't know, feel more comfortable and feel like they have a relationship to on campus. Because it is like a, I, mean, I felt it myself, but there's a disconnect between on campus and off campus um, for sure. And, and for like freshmen that don't know many people, it can be tough to go, I mean, just kind of feel like a little outsider. So. Um, talking to the connectors and um, it can be a great way to uh, just help um, learn about campus and try to meet some new people and um, kind of build those relationships to have a successful time. Did you guys want to talk briefly about a week? Yes, so we do go to events for a week just like you would if you lived on campus. Um, so your community connector will be utilizing that group me to send out, hey, I'm going to so-and-so events. Um, so look out for that because we want you guys to not feel any different um, living off campus. A week is for you guys as well. Get out there, meet new people, um, see everything campus has to offer. So be looking for that, but yeah, we- uh, Can I make a plug for a specific event? Taste yeah. of Fayetteville. Taste of Fayetteville. Mark, you want to talk a little bit about that? Uh, it's free did food. You I've never been. <gasps> what? That's crazy. Okay. I can talk about it okay. Okay. a little Go bit. Um, I go early the line is long um but there what is, is it? What is it? it is a ton of like food vendors uh, locally yeah. that you get to go around and have there's canes you get a chicken strip i got ice cream for one place lots of food is lots of free food water burgers out there yes a number of places um i highly recommend it but it does get busy mm -hmm. uh, other events that we do are trivia night that's one we can elaborate and that's with you rec i believe too yeah trivia night um and I think we have one more that we collaborate on. I can't remember what the name of it is, but anyway, several great events for a week. Don't don't miss out. Come on campus and check it out. Get involved and meet new people, and a week's a fun time. And university programs and new student and family programs puts on a lot of those events. Mm -hmm. um, so just a way, great way to get connected with campus. I think they have a bunch of uh, like history tours around campus and study tours, you can find all the best places to study. Um, so yeah, highly, highly recommend. Your community connectors will be going, so join them, or if you have a specific event you wanna to go to but you don't wanna go alone, reach out to them because they'll be more than welcome to go with you and get a group together, so highly recommend. Freshman photo um, rally, isn't that one? Oh, pep rally? The pep rally? Yes. And freshman photo you make in the stadium? Yes, yeah, so kind of what our plan is, is that Sunday before classes, I believe it's the 21st. Sounds right. Um, we'll be having an all complex meeting with your community connectors and really just kind of lay out the ground rules um, and kind of their expectations for the semester and kind of what the complexes expect out of you guys when it comes to 
taking care of their stuff and you know making it feel like home and their rules and everything like that um, but then we will all go to the pep rally where you guys will learn everything there is to be about a Razorback um, chants and the alma mater and fight song fight song and how to call the hogs and then you will go down and get your big A photo on the football field um, so yeah that's definitely something to look forward to I believe it's a tradition around here someone asked on move-in day will parents need a pass to help students unload no, they will not um, because the complexes are kind of separate from off campus. Um, so you guys kind of come, park, unload, and then kind of guys go on your way. Um, it's not as crazy as on campus because you only have your complex. So it's just kind of you and everybody else moving in. Um, but we do have multiple days, so it's not as crowded. Um, so I do not believe you guys will be getting parking passes because you guys don't need them. Yeah, it's not. I don't think off campus moving in is near as stressful as moving in on campus. Yeah. Um, yeah, you can just, there's a lot more, there's a lot less people and um, yeah, it's just, there's no, there's no time um, blocks or anything like that. Awesome. Anything else? I don't think so. We're excited for you guys to come and um, to live in our apartment complex. I know the managers have been working really hard um, to make sure your guys' units are looking great. Um, we're excited for you guys to come and meet you guys and get this semester going. Awesome. Thank you all for joining York Home Live 2023. This was Off Campus Housing. Um, as always, Woo Pig Suey. Yes, thank you guys. <laughs> Bye. Boom.